Hey, I'm Rob, founder of Coifin, here to tell you a little bit about our product. Coifin provides the ability to research stocks, ETFs, mutual funds, and macro data for an in-depth understanding of what's happening in the market. We offer a modern and intuitive user interface that replaces older products like Bloomberg, Morningstar, FactSet, and YCharts. With Coifin, you can have meaningful conversations with colleagues and clients through informed market insights. We equip you with the data and expertise to build more effective and strategic investment portfolios. Let me show you how it works. Coifin is a web-based platform and you can go right on our website to get started and sign up for free. To get a sense of the data coverage we have, you could click, click on the search box and you can see that Coifin covers equities, ETFs, mutual funds, indices, bonds, Forex, crypto, futures and economic data. So really broad coverage. And then on the left hand side is a menu of different snapshots, dashboard and charting tools that you could use to really make sense of the data. Right now I'm on the today's markets page where I could see what's happening in the market and I could click on the checkbox to the left of each name and each ticker to add securities to the box and see how they've been performing over various time frames. I wanted to show you a feature called the watch list feature, which is really powerful. This is where I can create a watch list of any of the securities on the platform. The watch lists are on top and this watch list right now is called Rob's portfolio. The reason it's called Rob's portfolio is for the tickers that I've, I have here in my watch list. I also have some portfolio columns. So I inputted the quantity of each one of these tickers that gets me to a weight and then get, gets me to some other portfolio columns such as what is the market value, what is the total gain loss in the portfolio. Um, I can also pull up columns for performance. So for example, on a three month basis, I know what, what each one of these securities did. I also know on a weight adjusted basis what the portfolio, how the portfolio performed and what the median stock did. You could select any column on our platform, whether it's fundamental, valuation, or technical, um, in this data picker here and all the categories here on the left-hand side, this is where I selected some of the portfolio tools uh, that I showed you before. And then the summary rows here uh, are selected by this tab here called summary, and you could add different summary statistics like average or market cap uh, weighted or weight adjusted sum to the bottom of your watch list. In this, in this watch list, you could select uh, or you could input mutual funds. So I have mutual funds inputted here. Um, you could select ETFs and you could also select the columns that are associated with these assets. So for example, these are my ETF columns and these are my mutual fund columns uh, to show me what the fees are, what the minimums are, what the fund type and what the benchmarks are as well. A related function to my watch list is the screening tool where you can screen for any security. So again, I have my uh, screening tabs on top. These are all different screens. I could select a new one by hitting the plus sign and then I could select one of the templates or get started from scratch. In here, I could screen for stocks or ETFs or mutual funds. Um, so let's say I wanted to select all the uh, ETFs uh, in the US. This is my first filter. I have 3600. ETFs that I'm showing. If I wanted to select an asset class, let me focus just on equity ETFs that there, there are about 2000 equity ETFs. And let me focus on, on performance here. If I wanted to look at the performance and go to the rolling annualized performance kegger over the past five years, this will tell me that the range for all these ETFs is minus 75% to 29%. Let me filter all the ETFs that are returning at least 10% a year for the past five years. And that would be 178 matches. Let me move this up to actually um, 20% and see what that looks like. There are only nine matches. I would create the screen and then have which securities fall into that bucket. So the screening tool is a really innovative way and a really quick way to find the needle in a haystack based on what you're looking for. The other thing I wanted to show you is these market dashboards where we let you browse different parts of the market. So for example, this is my world equities dashboard where I could see all the different um, uh, indices in the world. And again, I could click this box to add the tickers to this chart and then see how it's performing. One dashboard that's really popular amongst our users is the factors dashboard. So here I can select 
which factors are displayed in the chart and then see over the past, uh, for example, over the past one year, I could tell that growth is doing well. Uh, some of the other factors are lagging. Um, and then over the past five years, kind of how that rotation has played out and what impact that could have on some of the portfolios I have that have um, that are that are weighted towards these factors. So this factors dashboard um, is really interesting. Next thing I wanted to show you skipping ahead of all these market dashboards is down here under security analysis, how to analyze a specific security. So, for example, um, under security analysis, I could input a stock or an ETF or a mutual fund. And once I have the data here, or once I have the security loaded, I could look at some of the snapshots. So for example, this is an ETF snapshot for SPY. This is my overview in terms of some metrics here, my uh, description of what the ETF does in case it's a newer ETF you're not familiar with, what the holdings are of the ETF. So this is really powerful in terms of understanding what are the, the biggest holdings in ETF and which are the holdings that are performing the best. Um, so I could see here that Tesla, Nvidia, are some of the biggest holdings and up uh, year to date um, and driving the return of the index. I also have the ETF holdings broken out by by each individual stock and seeing what the contribution of each holding is, as well as aggregated by sector and by industry. So really being able to understand that year to date, the SPY is up 17.4 percent and information technology is contributing 935 basis points. The biggest contributor to that is Apple, Nvidia, Microsoft, Amazon, some of the bigger bigger tech names that are driving the uh, performance of the ETF. Um, I also have a dividend snapshot to show the dividend uh, progression over time. And then on the, on the graphs, a uh, really powerful feature where you can sort of graph any of the data that's on our platform. So for example, if you wanted to graph the uh, drawdown, um, you could do that as well and add that as a series and, and look at it over the past 10 years. Um, if you wanted to maybe map the correlation of SPY versus something like uh, TLT, you can put that in the settings there. That would uh, give you the correlation very quickly. So you can really input any factor, any valuation measure, any fundamental measure into the graph here, as well as look at the performance. So looking at the performance starting at zero, and looking at the total return over the past one year or three year or five years, this performance graph really lets you compare different securities. So if I wanted to compare SPY versus a mutual fund versus another ETF, I could do that very quickly um, and see what the returns are over the 10 year period, as well as see what the Kegger, the compound annual growth rate is in the legend. So for SPY, the, the Kegger is 12.16% uh, for uh, XLK, it's been 19.66% over the past 10 years. The other thing to highlight is in the security analysis, we do have a lot of data for single stocks. Um, so for single stocks, we have data that's provided by S&P Capital IQ. So we have all the uh, valuation measures. So for example, you could look at PE ratios over time and valuation measures over time. Or you can look at under analyst estimates, you could look at how margins and financials um, have, have reported or what the trailing numbers are, what the forecasted numbers. So really the ability to understand and visualize what's driving a stock, what are the um, fundamental measures and how they're ebbing and flowing over time and, and how to analyze a stock from a valuation point of view as well. And we have a lot of these snapshots for a single stock um, including uh, dividend ownership, um, including uh, price target to really help you understand a, a stock and give you some color on, on the company. Um, I hope that uh, answers some of your questions and gives you an introduction to Coifin. Please reach out for a more in-depth demo. You can reach us at help at Thank you.